Hi everyone, I'm Devin Coombs and today we will be starting our series on statistics. So this will cover business statistics, introductory statistics, and pretty much an overview of main statistical concepts. So I will be following CSUN's Gateway Lab exam practices throughout every single uh, lecture in the series, but feel free if you don't go to CSUN to follow this, it's a great overview. So let's go to question one. Question one reads, which of the following is correct? A, the probability of a type one error is beta. B, the probability of a type two error is one minus beta. C, the probability of a type two error is alpha. Or D, the probability of a type one error is one minus alpha. Or E, none of the above. So to answer this question, we have to understand what a type one error is, a type two error, and beta and alpha are. So let's figure this out. I'm gonna go over the definitions. So just so we understand, this is, uh, this is the symbol for alpha, and this is the symbol for beta. We're gonna be using it all through uh, statistics, so make sure you memorize it. Alpha is the probability of a type one error. So this is the probability of type one error. Beta is the probability of a type two error. So this helps us right here. We can go back and figure that all out, but I want everyone to understand what a type one error is and a type two error is. So they're extremely important. They're used a lot in accounting and advanced statistics. They're used all throughout business. They're the basic concepts. Uh, they're basic concepts of research. So just memorize this. It can be tricky. People get confused, but I have a few ways of memorizing it. So type one error is an incorrect rejection of a correct null hypothesis. So if our research, I'm trying to research if uh, lifting weights makes me stronger, right? That's my, that's my null hypothesis. I'm saying lifting weights makes me stronger. And I find out that that's incorrect, that I, I find a, my research says this is, it doesn't make you stronger. So I think it makes me stronger. My research says it doesn't, but in fact, it does. In fact, the working out does make me stronger, but my research leads me to a different conclusion. That's a type one error where I come and say, oh, that's not true when in fact it is true. A type one error is the less serious of the two errors. Um, if you're in something that really matters, uh, it, like in accounting, if you choose a sample and it's, uh, and it's, a type one error you make, it, there's less liability involved with a type one error, and I'm sure that's true with many professionals. So a type two error is more significant, and it's the error uh, of a failure to reject an incorrect null hypothesis. So I'm saying uh, working out gets me stronger, and I find out that that's true. Yeah, doing this workout gets me stronger, but in fact, working out gets me weaker. Whatever exercise that it is gets me weaker. We can see that's kind of worse because I'm making an assertion that yes, this is true. This is in fact true. This workout will make you stronger and it doesn't. So we're making assertions about something that isn't true rather than uh, making assertions about some, we're saying something that isn't true that actually is. So type two is a little worse. I hope it makes sense. I can cover this in more detail in future lectures if that wasn't a good enough explanation, but just feel free to comment below if you get stuck. So now let's go back to the question, understanding what a type one, type two error are, and um, understanding alpha and beta. So which of the following is correct? The probability of a type one error is beta. No, it's alpha. The probability of a type two error is one minus beta. That's not true. The probability of a type two error, error is alpha. No, it's beta, as we discussed before. And the probability of a type one error is one minus alpha. No, it's just alpha. So we know none of these are true. So E is the correct answer, which is none of the above. If you have any questions, feel free to write in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter. And I look forward to seeing you next time.